guys, this is PG Bootstraps and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to continue on the RPG tutorial. We're going to work more on the battle system. We're going to work on making a player for the battle system mode and an environment. So first we're going to make a tile map. So let's go to 2D object, tile map. Go to tile palette on the right. Choose what tile you want to draw, you want to put on the screen. We'll just do it like this. Just draw this here. There we go, that looks good. Okay, now let's put this tab back here. Now we need to add a tile map collider to our, to our tile map so the player can stand on it. So go to inspector, add component, tile map collider 2D. We don't need to do anything here. Now we got a floor. We need to add walls so our player can't go outside of the screen. So we're gonna add a 2D. We'll we'll just create an empty. And let's add a box collider. Let's just move this whole thing right there. Whoops. Edit collider. Now let's just drag this up. Drag this just just below the ground, just in case so there are no glitches. Now we'll make a duplicate. We'll duplicate it. Let's just move this over here. Like here, like that. I think yeah, we got to move this one to the right a little more. Like that. That looks good. We'll call it. We'll just call these wall one and wall two. I'll, just to make things easier. There we go. So we got our colliders, we got the floor and the grid, and we got our camera. Now we're going to create a new sprite. This sprite is going to be our player, so we'll call it player. Let's just choose this sprite for now. Now we need to add a rigid body component, rigid body 2D. We'll freeze the Z rotation so he doesn't rotate. Now we need to add a box collider so he can stand on the ground. And let's just make sure this fits. So we'll edit it. We'll drag it like that. Just make sure it just make sure the box collider goes right around him. So it's perfect. Okay. Now now that we got that. Sorry guys. Now we're gonna add a script. We'll call it player battle move here. Let's make things easier. Let's go to scripts player. Player battle movement. Then let's drag this. Whoops. We'll drag this. There we go. Now we're going to make a script. I'm just going to paste this script right here. Okay. So this is a float move speed. This is how fast you will be able to move right and left. This is the jump force because we want them to be able to jump. To jump over an enemy if they want to fight from a different side. We'll add a bool on ground. This, is, this will help us with our jumping. And this layer mask can transform will also help us with our... Well, not really jumping, but checking to see if he's on the ground so he won't fall through it and he'll be able to jump if he's on the ground. And then we need to get our rigid body 2D component. So we got that right there. We use this line of code to, to get the com component. This right here helps us detect what is the ground and we'll choose what the ground is in a second. This, 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 this part of the code allows you to move left and right. So uh, type that there. And the reason I made it a fixed update is because if it's just an update and you and you're running into a wall, it'll do this weird glitchy thing where it keeps moving, like shaking when you move to one in, run into a wall. So that's why we're doing fixed update. Now for void update, this allows you, us to jump if on ground. On ground means if you're if you're touching a certain layer, because we that's why we added a layer mask of what is ground, so then we know 
so we can choose what the ground is, and that's what on ground is. So if you're on the ground and input dot get key down space, it's simple. Rigid dot add force new vector to zero jump force. So pretty much this allows us to go up to jump up a certain height, and this allow this is the amount of force that we can manipulate of how high we want our player to jump. And then on ground equals false because we don't want to jump in the air. That would just be weird. All right, so now that we got this script, let's save this, and boom, all this stuff just pops up. Okay, so first we're gonna create, whoops, first we're gonna create an empty object called ground check. And we actually want the ground check to be right, but whoops, we want it to be right below our player. Like that. That seems good. Now we're going to drag this inside player. So ground check is a child of player. Now we'll drag ground check to this. What is ground? We'll make everything. One thing I've got to do, guys, let's uh, go to grid. Let's just call this ground to make things simpler. Now we're going to add a new layer to it called. Oh, I've already added the layers. Well, yeah, add one layer ground and add another layer player hey that rhymes okay so we'll make this layer player yes change children too and we'll make the ground ground so he'll be able to stand on it and walk on it now let's test it out once whoops what happened oh got it Change Z position to zero. Oh, stupid me. I forgot to add move speed and jump force. So move speed, uh, we'll use seven. And jump force, 300. I'll test it out. Okay, one thing. Sorry, guys. Change the, change the player's Z position. I don't know if this happen for you but change its z position to zero just for now so we can actually see your player and boom it works now we can move around and jump all right guys thank you for watching i really hope this tutorial helped you and in the next tutorial i'm either gonna show you guys how to do have an inventory so you can have so you can pick up weapons or items and you can uh and there'll be like a description of the items and swords and stuff that you can use in the battle or I'll add an enemy to this that, could, that will chase us and if it touches us we'll lose we'll die pretty much and it might add health too we'll see guys let me know what you want me to do next and I'll see you in the next video bye